Need to add a custom domain name to your Azure AD subscription? I'm Mike Roderick, and in this quick bite, I'm going to show you how. Adding a custom domain name to your Azure AD subscription can make life for you and your users a whole lot easier. Many times we end up with a pretty long and convoluted name when we first create our subscription, something, 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 dot on Microsoft.com. That's not very user friendly, and we don't want to create accounts that has that as the principal name. So let's see how we can add a custom domain name to our Azure AD subscription. I'm logged into portal.azure.com, and I'm going to start by selecting Azure Active Directory. From there, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find custom domain names. Here you'll see a couple of things. First, you'll see the really long one that I got initially when I set up the subscription, itprotvrootoutlook.onmicrosoft.com. I do not want to go to somebody and say, hey, here's your new username, Courtney at itprotvrootoutlook.onmicrosoft.com. Yeah, that's no good. So you can see right above that, I've already added a custom domain name to mine. So when I create new users, it's now Courtney at itprotvdemo.com. Adding a new domain name or a custom domain name is easy as long as you have certain access. You need one to have the name itself, right? I need to register that name. Uh, and I also need access to the DNS server that's hosting that namespace. Azure is gonna need to verify that I have that administrative access. So I can't just pick any random name and use it. All right, to add a custom domain name, I'm simply gonna click the add custom domain up at the top. And then over on the right, we'll get a little blade that slides out where I can enter that name. I'm gonna just make one up for this demonstration, test.com. I'll zoom back out and I'll click add domain. And what you'll see is that it pops up a screen or a new blade with instructions on how to verify that information. You need to create a file or a record on the DNS server that's authoritative for that namespace. And you can either create a text record or an MX record. Doesn't matter which one. Some DNS servers don't support text records, so you might need to go with an MX record. Typically, text records are a little bit easier, but either one will work. And Azure is nice enough to provide all of the information you need to create those records. So if I'm going to create a record type TXT, then I'm going to use the alias or host name at. You can see the destination or points to address that I'm going to fill in as I'm creating that new record, and then the TTL they suggest that I use. If my DNS server doesn't support text records, then I could choose to create an MX record. And again, it gives me all the appropriate information that I would need. It also has a handy link here to share these settings via email. While you might be an administrator in Azure, you might not have administrative access over the DNS server. So maybe you need somebody else to help you out. This is an easy way to send this information to them so they can create the records for you. Once that record's created in that DNS server, you can come back into your Azure portal, verify or click verify, I'll show you where, and then Azure will reach out and see if that record exists. If it does exist, that's its way of knowing that you had administrative access to that namespace and you are authorized to use that namespace and it'll then add it to your Azure subscription. Then when you go to create new users, you simply pick that UPN suffix from your drop-down list. So let me zoom back out and you'll see the verify button right down here at the bottom. Again, I haven't gone and created the record, so I cannot verify it, but you would simply go to your DNS zone, and depending on who you're using to host your DNS, it might be slightly different, but you'll have some way of selecting that zone. And if I zoom out so we can see everything, creating a new record. So I'll click record set. You would type in the name, and this is going to be the at symbol in our case. Remember, all that information was provided by Azure. I would change this record type to TXT, and then I would fill in the rest of the information. I think it said 3600 for a, a TTL. And we can leave that at seconds, I believe. Uh, and then the value for that, and that was that MS equals and that code that they gave me. I would save that. And once, oops, let me zoom back out. I'm not gonna actually create this. Once I had saved that record, I would need to give it time to replicate if necessary from my DNS servers, but then I would go back into Azure Active Directory, back to my um, custom domain names. I would select that new domain and notice that it says currently that it is unverified, right? But once I had created the appropriate record, 
I could select this name and I could click verify. It would then reach out to that DNS server and it would verify the record exists. And if it does, it would then list it as verified and I'd be able to use that in my Azure AD subscription. So that's how you add a custom domain name to your Azure AD subscription. And this has been another quick bite from ITFRO TV.